welcome back to Nancy's Life. In this episode, I want to show you the process on how I created this uh, kind of like a concept art of this uh, Egyptian city cyberpunk using AI and Blender. So the idea is really simple. Uh, so we basically create like uh, a depth map in Blender, and in this case, I like to work like uh, with a queer rectangular uh, projections during the render so what we get is really like a 360 view of this cyberpunk city that hopefully we can create hopefully we can get something nice out of this uh, it's really depending on the prompt and the setup that you have and and also you can either use depth or canny and also you depending on the model of AI that you are using so anyhow uh, okay I'm getting something really pretty weird looking there maybe reduce this or okay, let's try let's randomize the seed so let's let's try again so basically I have nothing here and then I will just load a layer depth map from blender that I prepared earlier so it's just a couple of boxes my prom is this Egyptian cyberpunk Godzilla helicopters neon light blah 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 and then with the negative prompting and the model I'm using is protogen probably not the best model for this it depends on what you're doing and I'm using control net set to depth map and everything else is pretty much as it is. I, I set I set the image size with ratio of two uh two to one. So it's like panorama panorama and then so yeah, depending on the detail as well. But anyhow, inside Blender is pretty simple. We basically need to set up the Z depth when you are rendering this out. And my scene is just like this. I have a camera in the middle. I actually have this pencil line art as well that I tried but didn't work didn't work so I just gonna delete that so in blender it's the setup is really simple just boxes that's randomized so let's actually start from scratch select all using a X delete everything I will create a plane for the landscape you can maybe like doing like a quick sculpt of landscape to make it a little bit a little bit nicer and more interesting we oh, yeah, should do that subdivide and yeah simple apply we need more resolutions control 3 subdivide again sculpt mode just a quick sculpting just to create a landscape mountainous areas we should spend a little bit more time on this but it's just basic we just want to get the depth Add a cube as usual. The cube actually, uh, in this case, correspond to the landscape. So if this is like a cyberpunk city with all this building, so there has been like maybe like an earthquake or something happening. So the building is all kind of deformed. The more details you add, actually, the, the interesting it's gonna get. So don't limit yourself like what I'm doing here. I'm doing just super basic stuff. I sometimes I just 
do this like a kind of like a creative creative therapy 3d therapy so It doesn't need to be like anything, but you just want to see something that looks nice, you know, to look at. I'll select the ground, select invert, so I only select these buildings or something, and then F3, randomize, randomize transform, rotate it in X and Y. I don't know, you can randomize the scale as well. If you want to. So anyhow, we have something. Shift A, create camera. So this our camera. First of all, we need to have maybe some lighting. So you can render in EV in Equirec Tumblr if you are using an add-on called EVR, EEVR. And yeah, this one over here. But it's kind of I think the add-on kind of have a bug. But I don't know. You can try rendering this using EV, but in this case I will just use cycles anyway. Cycles and Create sky textures. Change the lighting a little bit. And then create some point light. Maybe it's not strong enough. Yeah. Just to add some color. Probably a little bit too bright. The sun. next thing okay with the camera okay select the camera we have the camera on the center over there couple links you can change it we want to render as panoramic and then a queer rectangular and what else activate Z and then we go to compositor Enable the nodes so we can see the depth. Let's try a render. Okay, it's a, it's a little bit warp, but that's uh, probably okay. Or maybe, maybe the camera can just stay at fifty-five millimeter. Oh, actually, uh, we're gonna fix that in a bit, but in the meantime, let's just normalize our Z def. Okay, check the check the camera. Oh, I think it has rotations. So options R and then R X ninety. So the camera is aligned. Let's render again. So when doing panorama, you don't want to have angle on the camera. Okay, so we have sort of like like the basic idea of Cyberpunk City. Sort of. We can give a color, random color. If you want to use segmentations, uh, yeah, it's really up to you if you want to add some texture it's gonna look it's gonna be better for the AI anyway it will tr actually 
happier if you are doing if you are adding more details into the city before before we later just gonna remix it using the AI okay so let's try okay by the way the sample is too high By default it's 4096 just reduce it to 10 you can denoise or just leave it as with noisy image because the AI actually like the noise the more noise you have maybe the more details it can get anyhow we want to get just the depth so you could you could actually have both image but let's let's try with the depth anyway so let's let's stop this create a new blank canvas and then get dev map from files show the dev map I'm using DrawThings AI app uh, on this Mac computer if you are using other co other machines you can use automatic 11.11 stable diffusions and okay protogene let's try Maybe realistic, realistic vision or dream, dream shaper. This one might be okay. No prom, turn off. Cyberpunk Laura. Increase that. Let's try without any Laura at the moment. Dev map. Cyberpunk. City. Urban Ocalypse Helicopters Neon Light Yep, whatever This is, let's see, the previous generations So originally If we are using Canny We might get something that's kind of a little bit basic So the more details you have, the better I like the idea of this city on cloud kind of thing. Okay, this one not really. It's kind of okay. The building, yeah, it feels like a kind of more like stylized artwork. Not, not really like detailed city like I wanted. Maybe the resolution is too small. Okay, this is the one that we have. I have a feeling uh, one of these prompts causing it to be a little bit too colorful. You can try using Laura. Laura is like, what is Laura? What is this stands for? Low attention. Anyhow, it's kind of like a training that you can add into your model a little bit like filter so let's try this Laura cyberpunk so in here we can say photograph or hyper hyper realistic concept art of Egyptian futuristic cyberpunk blah 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 and create new get the depth map from files i have a feeling sometimes when uh if you are you, you can use it use depth but you can also use like a uh, canny on top of it so it's gonna work together a little bit better Or you can always remix the previous image and then you reuse that for the next AI generations and then you can also increase the resolutions uh, yeah instead of 640 by 320 which is like super small you can go a little bit higher you're gonna get more details out of it let's say you are kind of happy happy with this 
even though it's a little bit weird. We can reuse this with Canny Edge and try. You can you can actually use geometry nodes just you know add a lot of details scatter a lot of boxes but I just keep it basic for now yeah starting to get a little bit more interesting in terms of the look just gonna wait for one more generation you can have up to 100 with this app and I think the most interesting part is really testing it on different models and then adjusting the the effects here like you can use LoRa I think there's a LoRa that's specifically made for environment scenes let's say we started with this Let's try anime line art. This can be canny generate. Maybe like guy over here select all by type uh, select pattern cube okay, selecting all the cube duplicate it rotate duplicate it rotate I want it yeah the, the messier the better Render. You could have like wrist pencil lines. You can actually scribbles on top of it. You know, like getting the lines and it working and try it. Uh, yeah. Wait. Well, the okay. The anime line line art definitely doesn't work in this case. So don't. Maybe get rid of this Laura. Use the death map again. Get the death map from files, which is just an image. And okay, generate ten Egyptian Paris Tokyo Neo. Neon lights, signage, high rise, high rise buildings, generate dream shaper model. I, I don't know, I think we could use the depth map with stable diffusion 2.x so the model can get really uh, more realistic that way I'll try one more with uh, some kind of uh, prompting magic you can always search for prompt ideas yeah you know like this let's make futuristic CGI Copy from stop that. That doesn't look too nice. What is this? 
they're using. The model, maybe the model is deliberate. Deliberate. Get the dev map from files. Generate. My feeling is the image size can be double of this, but we will see. Probably should spend a little bit more in Blender just to add more details before we send it to AI. It's kind of a kind of a balance. Okay, here yeah, so we have more random randomness happening. We probably need to specify to the AI, okay, make this mountain turn it into a cloud. Or something. I think the neon light is a little bit strong in this case. I'm kind of curious if we just use the realism engine, depth map, stable efficient to render this. I think realism engine is uh is a it's a model that's trained using Stable Division 2.x so you can get more realistic result this way probably the mountain is a little bit too tall and we need some more buildings behind the mountain It's the camera so the camera can be a little bit higher like a drone you know if you have like a drone view now now the the panorama makes a little bit more sense The AI infusion thing at the moment is like it's every a minute, you know, around half minutes to get an image. Image in the future is probably gonna be real time, so it's gonna be pretty crazy. Few seconds on a powerful, like super powerful machine, like on top. Uh, it's gonna be real time if it's inside game engine anyway. If if if, if it's gonna work that way. So you can have like a basic models in front of it and then the AI will make it a hundred times more detailed. And if you don't like if you don't like the environment like with the AI AI I could imagine that you can just imagine okay we want it instead of city we want it to be like a forest jungle whatever it could work okay now it's becoming a little bit too crazy now. i don't know why but maybe my prompting or the there's something isn't right here so maybe i'll try a different model and i'm gonna use the dev map and let's see what i can come up with and I will probably share it to you as a video. But anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. Hopefully you find this useful. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.